Hello guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and this time I have come here with another exciting tutorial for CG Tutors Plus exclusively. You must have seen in the preview uh, what I am going to tell you today. I will show you how to make uh, this kind of thing, uh, a candle with its flame. The USP of this tutorial is that I will show you how to achieve this kind of flame effect without using any outside plugin. The flame is just a mesh. You can see it here. I have used uh, so many modifiers here and um, I have animated it too, just like uh, a real candle flame. And you can see the uh, mesh of the candle. It's quite heavy. Because I made it in a mud box, I made the base mesh in uh, 3ds Max and uh, then deformed it in uh, Mudbox to give it a real candle look. So now let's start and uh, first of all let me reset the scene. So this is my new 3ds Max scene. So to start uh, I select cylinder and uh, drag it in the viewport. This is cylinder and um, it will be uh, used to make a candle. Let's increase its uh, sides and height segments. Now go to file and then export it as um, candle mesh and choose the format as uh, OBJ. Save. And it, it will ask uh, for which uh, platform it should uh, export. There are too many uh, presets here like Maya, Silo, ZBrush. But I will choose Mudbox. And then export. And in no time it will be finished. Now let's move to Mudbox. This is Mudbox dear. And uh, first of all uh, let's import the candle mesh. Uh, we have just uh, saved in OBJ format. It has come here. To subdivide it, keep pressing Shift D for a couple of times. Um, and guys, if you want to know uh, more about Mudbox, uh, you uh, you can watch my uh, one old tutorial on uh, Max to Mudbox and back again in uh, CG2 Plus. Here I have uh, made this biceps. Uh, you can watch all the three videos uh, I made on this. It will give you a very fine idea about the process between 3ds Max to Mudbox and uh, it will also teach you uh, some very cool ways to sculpt the things in Mudbox. So check it out guys and uh, now back to our main tutorial. <coughs> Here I pick a sculpt tool and uh, start sculpting the top part. Make the radius uh, small and while pressing control sculpt this part. Sculpting while pressing control button reverts the whole process. That's why it's going down. Press shift and sculpt to make uh, some parts smooth. Uh, why I'm doing so? Because I want to show that uh, this part is melted due to flame. Um, now let me make uh, some melted wax here. You have often uh, seen this kind of thing in uh, real world. Make some irregular lines. Also you can smooth some parts. Uh, it all depends upon you how do you see the scene. It's looking uh, pretty good. Now let's export it to Max back. So go to File, Export Selection. Uh, oh, uh, but I haven't selected uh, anything to export. So go to Select Move Tools, click on Objects and uh, select the candle. Now go to File, Export Selection and save it as uh, Final Candle Mesh. Save. 
that's it now come to 3ds max for now uh, just hide this cylinder uh, or you can even delete it um, whatever and now go to file import and uh, just import the final candle mesh open and uh, click on import it's done and now you can see the sculpted candle mesh here it's now in uh, editable mesh so uh, let's convert it in uh, editable poly press f3 this is the candle it's quite good uh, now it's time to give it a candle like material so press m to open the material editor Choose the first empty slot and rename it as uh, candle. Now click on diffuse and select gradient ramp. And first of all make it as a cylinder. And in angle tab make it a 90. Or make it minus 90. Oh. Hey guys. Uh, I noticed that my uh, mouse pointer has stuck on uh, the lower right corner somehow uh, but it won't affect the quality of the tutorial you can still uh, understand each and everything so please uh, bear with me so once I set the color in gradient ramp now apply it on the candle mesh now let's render the scene. Oops, oh, UV problem. Uh, so let's apply a UVW mapping on the cylinder. Choose the mapping as cylinder and uh, just click on fit. And now if I render the scene, it looks like this. Since wax uh, looks glossy, so apply the same gradient ramp in the self illumination uh, channel too as instance and now if it's uh, rendered it looks much better uh, let's drag the red color to the left a bit it looks much better now now let's apply uh, an omni light in the scene Put it here. Uh, one thing I forgot to do uh, is to increase the specular level and glossiness uh, to make it look uh, like a candle. Um, now it looks much better than before. Now it's time to make the flame. But before uh, that, uh, let me make uh, its wick. To make the wick, um, I'll draw a small line here, just like this. And uh, in the rendering tab, enable it in uh, both rendering and uh, viewport. Place it on the right place here that's it and uh, let's make it a pure black <coughs> now let's make the flame for that uh, I select a circle and draw it in the viewport oh um, just disable uh, these two okay this is circle and convert it into editable spline and uh, in the segment mode select and delete these two segments one by one and now being in the vertex mode let's modify uh, these three vertices uh, something like this the bezier handles and now once uh, it's done apply a lathe modifier onto it after applying lathe 
uh, let's modify the uh, be zero hands a bit it's fine just put it above the wick check it in uh, all the viewports so we have flame uh, something like this now it's time to animate the flame so for that apply a mesh select modifier select its vertex mode and uh, select uh, this much mesh part of the flame and now go to a soft selection and use soft selection make a fall off something like this now selecting this much part of the mesh apply a noise modifier onto it here increase the strength in x axis even in uh, y axis you can do and uh, then if you make the animate noise uh, option on you can clearly see the flame animating but it's uh, too high right now so uh, just decrease the value in X and make the Y value 0 because it is uh, really not required and uh, you can do one thing in mesh select just select uh, the smaller part and then increase the follow value in uh, soft selection and now it gives a better result make it fractal also and uh, increase the scale value now it's looking uh, much better You can always play with the noise strength values. It all depends upon you uh, what kind of result you want. One more thing you can do. Um, just apply one more uh, mesh select modifier on it. Uh, select a very small part uh, from the top. Uh, use soft selection. This much mesh selection will do. Uh, increase the fall off and uh, here apply a bend modifier onto it. Choose the y axis as bend axis and uh, then increase the angle. It's bending uh, the upper tip. You can change the direction also for the uh, bend angle. See how bend affects the tip of the flame. So we can animate the bend angle also. Uh, let's animate its angle on every 10th frame. It will uh, certainly give us some variation in flame animation. Just give some random uh, values. Uh, you can even animate a direction value too. But for now it's okay. <laughs> and now if you play the animation it will look like this it's looking pretty good to animate the flame uh, with more uh, velocity and intensity just play with its noise strength value see the difference it's much better now now it's time to apply the proper material on the flame so press M select another empty slot and in its uh, diffuse channel select gradient ramp again make it uh, minus 90 and now apply this kind of color in gradient ramp uh, color uh, should be uh, identical to uh, real flame
just apply it on the uh, flame mesh here too um, apply UV uh, W mapping uh, make it uh, cylindrical make it fit in X but here it will give uh, a problem because uh, it's above the mesh select so uh, drag the UVW uh, beneath, uh, beneath all uh, mesh uh, select modifiers um, oh uh, still it is uh, not perfect uh, so do one thing uh, delete it for now and um, just apply a new UVW uh, after a lit oh um, by mistake I applied uh, UVW unwrap uh, by mistake okay uh, delete it and uh, apply a UVW mapping uh, after lit modifier and this time it's quite perfect so now uh, make it 100% uh, self illuminated and now uh, if you render the scene it looks like uh, this it's pretty good but we have to do some more uh, things to uh, make it uh, look perfect so for that uh, let's move to Photoshop here make a new document of uh, 512 pixels in both uh, width and height create a new layer pick the brush tool with the black color choose a feathered brush with a bigger diameter and uh, just paint like this and now save it as uh, uh, alpha.jpg I had already uh, made that so just uh, rewrite on it okay now back to 3ds max select flame and rename its uh, material slot as a uh, flame okay select its opacity channel and here choose the alpha.jpg as bitmap uh, what we had just uh, saved in Photoshop and now if you render this it will look like this not bad at all if you decrease its style uh, and its uh, U offset a bit it will look more real do one more thing um, select the flame mesh and uh, apply turbo smooth onto it now the edges of flame mesh will go smooth now select the flame mesh right click object property and select one as its object ID and now go to rendering effects and here add uh, uh, lens effects and here choose uh, glow go down and in option tab select object ID 1 and then click on uh, interactive it will render the scene and here you will find glow in the scene but the color of glow is uh, white so go to parameters and uh, increase the use source color value to 100 also decrease the size of glow a bit and uh, hence we have a nice looking candle flame um, you can take uh, its renders in animated form also uh, because we have animated its uh, flame already so guys I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, see you next time this is Chandan Kumar from India bye bye